Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can do quadratics and other polynomials on the Casio FX 9750 G3 calculator. To do this we'll use the menu key that looks like this located here, the exe or execute key that looks like this located here, the F1 to F5 keys that look like this, located across the top here, and the negative key, that looks like this, located down here. Let's say we were given a quadratic like this and wanted to solve for x. First, we need to go to the main menu with the menu key, and then we want to scroll down to the equation or EQA option there. So we highlight it and press the EXE key. That brings us to this menu here. We're doing polynomials, so we want to choose F2. That brings us to this screen here, where it asks us what degree we want to solve for. In a polynomial, the degree is determined by the largest power of x. So in this example, x to the power of 2 is our largest power of x, telling us we have a degree of 2. So we select degree of 2 with the F1 here. That brings us to this screen here, where we need to fill in our blanks for our formula. First, we have x to the power of 2, and if we have that x to the power of 2 with no number, we assume 1. So we'll go 1 here, and hit exe. Then for our b, x, we have 4, and our c, we have a minus 5. So for that, we need to use the negative key here, not the minus, because that might give us a different result. So we hit negative 5, exe. There we go, we filled in all our blanks, and now we can hit exe again, and we get our results. x is equal to 1, or x is equal to minus 5. To go back, we can either hit exit or repeat. So here if we hit F1 repeat, that takes us back to this screen. And if we want to go back one more, we hit exit again. And we're back at our screen where we choose our degrees. Let's look at another example. Let's look at this. In this example, our largest power of x is 3. So we'll choose a degree of 3 for this one. We can again fill in our blanks, so x to the power of 3, we have 1 there, minus 2x squared, so we have a negative 2 there, minus x, so we'll go negative 1, plus 2, so we go 2 there, and hit exe, or we can hit the F1 for solve, and that gives us our results. So we have x equal to 2, x equal to 1, or x equal to negative 1 as a result. Let's look at one more example, x squared minus 25. You'll see in this example we don't have a value of x, only x squared and the 25, so how do we do that? Well, if we hit exit twice to go back to our degree choice, we see this has x to the power of 2 as our largest power of x, so we know this is degree 2. And then we hit 1 for our x squared. And now here for b, we don't have an x, so we leave that blank or leave it with 0, and then scroll to the right and we have minus 25, so we go negative 25, hit exe, and hit it again, or hit the solve with f1, and it gives us the result of x equal to 5, and x equal to negative 5. When we're done solving these, and we want to go back to our main menu, we can do that by pressing the menu key again, and that takes us back to our main menu. 
All right. I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.